What is going on, guys? Welcome to week number one of year number three for our Big 12 Team Builder Dynasty. It's about time. The offseason is over. We're officially kicking off the season today. Happy Saturday. Yeah, really excited to get this going. We got three service academies to kick this thing off. And you're going to start with Navy at Ardmore. And you got your new head coach, Tremaine Young. New head coach, new starting quarterback. A lot of things that are going on that are new for this football team, but some things stay the same. Dequandre Shook is our starting running back yet again for year number three, and he's going to take this ball right up the middle for eight yards. Hicks feeling a little pressure, but he's going to find Tyrell Hibbard for a first down for 12 yards. One of those new names. He's been around a little bit, but hasn't seen a ton of action. And then, you know, Hicks was kind of your gadget quarterback because wow. he can do stuff like this. He can run, but now he's getting a full look at the starting job so this is going to be interesting our own little fun little toy here kind of like johnny manzel right our little ben shinoski we got our own ben shinoski here at ardmore so he's been learning the system like you said so he is now getting that starting role and we can see that we're using a lot of play action type of throws here but he needs more help out of his wide receivers on those types of throws if he's going to start to throw downfield he needs some help from these new look wide outs yeah and again these these guys have been in the program but not gotten a lot of looks in the starting lineup. Kevin Tratnick is the one veteran with a lot of experience. So it's it, you're going to rely on this running game. A lot, of, a lot more option this year. Tremaine Young was offensive coordinator, and now he gets the reins. He's going to be a little more experimental than the NFL-style Jeff Henderson. Yes, Henderson actually held them back. There's a lot of pundits, a lot of anal analysts that said that on, upon that analysis that he was holding them back offensively. Defensively, you know, he wasn't the brightest mind in the world, as we can see a nice little hot route here to Brent Guerrero. They're going to call that out and up for the running back that we just got a couple years ago, actually. He was redshirted last season. He's making an, an immediate impact. Yeah, good to see. Now Navy going to bust this uh, triple option out here. You got Jacob Harrison. Yeah. Well, new face. Might be a new face. Sounds like a creative player. Probably a CPU creative player. But look at this play here. Benning right up the middle for four yards. And we're running a 3-4 offense here at Ardmore. We were running the 4-3 for the first two seasons. And now that there's been a head coaching change, we're doing that 3-4, trying to get more athleticism out there on defense. And we'll have to see how this is going to match up against an option team in Navy. But look at this. Braverman, the guy that moved over from strong safety to middle linebacker, going to miss a tackle. Probably not used to players getting up on him so quick. Yeah, so how about this? Nice little stop there. Still got some players on the defensive side of the ball. Roosevelt McKinley, one of those returning starters on your defense. So Harrison, this play is going to get busted up too. And your, your interior looks pretty good coming into the season. Yeah, Jaslowski is going to be pretty solid. We've got a lot of good guys there on the D-line. It's just the linebacking is going to have to be like the mainstay here. Defensive back speaking, we've still got some good players but that play needed to be made right there. It was read perfectly, but just didn't get up. Didn't have the ups to make that play. So touchdown Navy, and it's going to end up being 7-7 seven to seven here. And looking for the play action screen pass to the outside, not going to get open in time, and it's going to get sacked. So Hicks gets sacked. We do go backward a little bit further, get some positive yardage there. It's going to be 4th and 13, so we have to give the football away. And look at look at here. So Navy is going to start pounding the football yet again. A 12-yard rush. It's going to get to third and inches. So we're actually going in the goal line set. And McCool trying to get in. And he takes out a blocker. So Ammon Howe comes up huge to make that stop. So Navy's going to have to punt the football away. And look at oh. this play. He, he pushed it into the end zone. Yeah, it was not fielded. It was touched. But he never possessed the ball. So no, I believe that should be ruled a touchback. But we are going to have Armour out at the one, one yard line. line. Interesting call there. So third and eight. And Hicks trying to make a play here. Trying to do something special. And he threw that ball in his own end zone. Uh, with your speed, you need to get out of the end zone in case something happens. You, you could fall. You could trip. And once you're down in college, you're down. That would have been a safety, but a good throw to Tratnik. Makes a nice play at the sideline. Then we get DeQuandre Shook up the middle for 16 yards. Now, still yet again, Ardmore in a negative yardage situation. Firing up to our freshman tight end, the five-star recruit, Eric Buchanan, with a 27-yard 20 yard catch. Yeah, Buchanan, a really nice prospect. Getting a lot of playing time early. Be interesting to watch his development down the stretch as well. So Hicks is driving 
going underneath the shook and i thought he might turn that into a score yeah pretty crazy that that defensive back actually had enough speed to catch a guy like Dequandre shook but tyrell hibbard gonna get the touchdown here on a little little hitch route so found the soft spot in the defense and touchdown ardmore but look at this play we are guessing oh. we're guessing on the play and roosevelt mckinley cannot make the tackle and the big guy scott tatum is going to take it for 70 yards for a touchdown mckinley really good player but he's getting embarrassed today yeah a little bit a little bit i'm not too impressed right now he needs to be that senior leader on this defense and right now it's just not looking too good but look at this harlan mccorders on the other side on the other side is going to lead off this highlight reel here for a turnover and interception it's about time ardmore has been pressuring the quarterback here for navy and that throw i don't know what was happening there with john hicks he thought maybe he had a little bit more pressure on him than than was so ardmore got the football back we're gonna get three points from that turnover so solid output there let's jump a little bit later here to the third quarter about 250 left and we have harrison trying to get that first down but he's only going to pick up three so navy has to punt the football away oh we have a bomb up the middle to tyrell hibbert and he's gone he's gone what a throw what a connection for john hicks and tyrell hibbert you gotta yeah. love it three touchdowns for john hicks passing yeah he's having himself a great game we're gonna enter the fourth quarter <laughs> And you're going to Shook up the middle. Nice little gain there for 10. So Ardmore in control. Got to gotta put this team away. Got to put Navy away. You know, they, they always like to hang around. But when they are losing, they're at a bit of a disadvantage offensively. I love this set. The little wishbone, full wishbone set here with three of our running backs. We got Jake Wood, Shook, and the new guy here, Xavier Wiggins, was also a freshman redshirt last season. And he's going to get in on a touchdown. Nice little run there. I like I like our running back oh. trio. And four. We're four deep at running back pretty much. And a really good sack here. It's going to be second and 16. And Harrison's going to throw the football away. He's six for nine. 145 for two scores and a pick. Kind of a weird stat line. But he's, I mean, he, he was getting the job done early. But now that it's a 17-point lead here in the fourth quarter, it looks like it's pretty much over. But after this throw, they're going to get another first down. And I thought that that ball probably could have been picked off by McCorders. Yeah, probably sh should have had that play made. But we got another bomb. You had the wrong defensive set out there. Wrong defensive set. But look, check this out. The linebacker, well, the safety, Adrian McCool, almost caught the tight end, which you should. You should if you're safety to catch some tight ends. But Not when he's that far behind the play, though. 31-21. to 21, Navy's going to cut the lead to 10 and DeQuandre Shook here in the backfield. We still got that wishbone, that full house set there, Wiggins and, and Jake Wood, and this little spin move is not going to get anything. So Navy does call that timeout. They're trying to stop the clock here on Ardmore so that they have another chance. They're down by 10, so they got to stop this clock. Ardmore cannot get a first down. We're trying to get that first down, though, and waste their timeouts. So that's part of the little gamemanship, the chess match that's going on here between both coaches. But Shook, actually, the lineman ran into him, and he couldn't pick up the first down. So we're going to have to settle for a long, long field goal attempt in the rain. And Landon Zabko hits it to go back up 13 this time. Right. I don't know what Shook was celebrating there or why he was on the field, but he was. And this throw by Harrison goes up to McCool and he picks it off. So Ardmore had a couple bad plays on defense. But overall, I think they stepped up in the end. They really held Navy's ground game in check, which is what you got to do. So it's a nice start to the Tremaine Young era, the John Hicks era. Yeah. I want to know. 11 carries for 33 yards. Had a really good passing game, too. Kind of unexpected, in my opinion. Navy doesn't have a insanely good defense, but it was unexpected. Three touchdowns, I thought maybe they would have split that on the ground a little bit more. So, yeah. Hard more wins. I got to like the momentum that we're having. All right, so we're going to kick this game off here. Nebraska State's opener. They get Air Force at oh, home. Oh, Okafor. And we got a new kick returner. Uzuma Okafor is taking over kicking duties full time, but starts it off with a 43 yard return. So I love his speed there. So, you know, all that off season talk, we're going to stick with Shinoski. He's our guy, he's our man. Maybe Willis will show up later today. It depends on how the game flows. And how about this? Dante LaBelle, first collegiate carry for the former five star running back before he blew out his knee in his senior year. And we redshirted him. 
He's back to full strength. He's healthy. And he's going to lead our backfield as a redshirt freshman. So how about this little nice seven-yard pickup right he's, there? He's got some power. You guys can see him. He kind of looks like a little bit of an Ezekiel Elliott type. That's what his form looks like to me. Could be. So he's going to be a focal point for your offense. And this new tight end, you love throwing to your tight ends, at least yeah. Shinoski does. This guy is an interesting player for me. I'll see if he, he keeps making plays like that. But we got Ryan Watson in there at fullback. And he's going to score that first touchdown of the year for the Prairie Dogs. That was a great drive. And check this out. Shinoski. He's wow. taking on full-time kicking wow. duties this did, year. Did you guys see that kick? It was nice and low, too. It was pretty low. <laughs> so now our defense. Our defense. We're off to a great start offensively. Defensively, not getting these stops here. Isaiah Sanders, the quarterback, picking up yards left and right. We've got a couple new faces on this defense. But Coach Cuss is calling a timeout early because... We're getting gashed. Cortland just knocked somebody out. Zyre Sullivan on the coverage. He almost caught that on the deflection. Did you guys see that? Yeah. So we get a stop. <laughs> we do give up a field goal, but it was a little rusty. Gave up some big runs. Shinoski's throwing oh. into coverage, and Swan comes down with it. Throw it up and make a play. That comes down to trust in your wide receivers, guys. And look at this throw. Down low, in coverage, Cody Joseph, the new tight end, makes that pick up. I mean, right now, Shinoski in this offense, they're doing some good things. And then we got LaBelle with the little shiftiness, so he's going to be tested. That knee is going to get tested in this game. Looks like off that juke move, he looks like he's, like you said, it's fully healthy. All right, Joseph goes Whoa. out of bounds, and he's doing some kind of motion. And we don't know if this is taunting. And we'll leave your imagination what he might be saying to the other player. What is this that? So there's a little bit of controversy. Air Force has taken offense to that. It was not called as a personal foul, taunting, but Air Force was mad. I would be could, mad too. That reminds me a little bit of Baker Mayfield could, action right Could there. be. So maybe Joseph might have a suspension on her hands. But how about this? Corey Hargrove checks in. The freshman running back, we moved him from athlete to running back down at the one. one but, but you're going to get in. Get in for that first college touchdown. Corey Hargrove. Hopefully we see a lot of that. He's a little, he's a little man, chippy, it, too. Man, this uh, Prairie Dogs team for 20, uh, 2019 is a little chippy here. Look at this pitch. This pitch went forward, by the way. That counts as an incomplete pass. Wow, good job, Sanders. <laughs> good job, Sanders. <laughs> That's when you just bail on the play because you know it's hopeless. Third and four. Devontae Cortland hauls down Christian Mallard for a stop. And our defense is looking good. And why do we show punt returns? Big plays happen. Big things happen. He didn't fumble, so I guess that means a good good return here. Here's Okafor going to up to the 50. And that could have been a face mask call to get extra positive yardage yeah. up there. But really good return out of yeah. Okafor. We wanted to show that again because I want to get my two cents in here. I think he's going to win returner of the year. I think he's going to beat out Shook. Well, how about this catch? Ooh, a little, little toe tap. Vivaldi, it counts. It's good. LaBelle's got a hole up the middle. Going up for five, so got to like the the young, the baby dogs. The oh, baby. the baby dogs. There, there's <laughs> the face mask. You got LaBelle, Vivaldi, and Joseph Hargrove. You got some, you know, Vivaldi played last year, but still a redshirt sophomore, so he's still got youth on his side. So we got a new cast of characters, kind of, and I'm excited to see what they can do with Shinoski's leadership. And up the oh, middle wow. to Cody Joseph for a three-yard touchdown. Might not see that next week. Coach Cust is going to review the tape. I mean, he's got some he's got some fire here. So yeah. out of out of recruiting, out of high school, they were kind of concerned about Cody Joseph's Atti off the field antics attitude, and yeah. ad attitude. But they, you know, Cust is giving him a shot here to try <laughs> to do some things. But look at this play by Watson, that and he a, actually spun off. He was trying to he was going to try to keep going. That was a beautiful play. Shinoski made a little flip out there. Hopefully, he can get this throw off, oh. and he can't. You know, I was going to say Air Force. You know, you play Air Force, you're, you're supposed to show a little bit of respect, you know. Yeah. But this is not This is not a good showing from no. Mr. Joseph. It's kind of dirty a little bit. I mean, it's Air Force. Okay, fourth and four. We're going for it because it's we are in no man's land, and Shinoski gets the throw off to Yarborough. Speaking of uh, showing some respect, you're up 21-3, yes. to three and you decide to go for it. It's there. still a game. Ah. You know, the half's winding down, can't kick a field goal. Schnaski going to get sacked here, going to be ended up second and goal now. It's going to be third and goal after Jeff Pearson almost picks it off. Schnaski actually having a really good game, 15 of 17. Yeah, a couple, couple drop-dying tees for Air Force, like right there. Probably should have made that play. 
but they're going to hold us to a field goal. Shinovsky's kick is up. Wow. And good. Wow. So we're going into halftime. Heisman? Yeah. Well, what, what value is that going to be? If you're the kicker, the punter, and the quarterback, that's got to count for something in your Heisman campaign. Maybe not this year, because, you know, this is dependent on how competitive you are. Maybe next year, the year after, I don't know. If you're putting up good numbers, and that means you're the best college football player. Yeah. Because you're doing everything. You're doing it all. Now, if you play defense, there that might be go. something. There you go. So, right, just, yeah, just one more position, Ben. Just Air, one more. Yeah, really. Air Force running that no-huddle option. They're down by 21, so they need to cash this in on this drive. Just get something on the board. And they got us on our heels a little bit. They're running up the middle. Wilson, the fullback. Parker Wilson goes for a first down. So this is a this is not where we want to be right now. Uh-oh. Sanders is loose. Joey Shonka. Oh, Shonka. He comes up with a great play. Good play, yeah. man. You finally are uh, doing some things here in your upperclassman season. Yeah. But how about this? Air Force gets a false start penalty that will push them back. So it kind of stalls out that drive a little bit. Not where they want to be. It was second and ten here. Brathwaite shoots it. Oh, what a read. It's a Perfect tackle. read. Yeah, that was a good, good play. He saw it was going up the middle. He was coming to the outside, blitz into the outside, and then he came up the middle. Oh, and a sack on the blitz. We brought pressure from the outside from Jawan Baptiste to safety. So that was a good call by the coordinator. So, like, we're showing a lot of discipline on defense. I like what we're doing. Staying on our man, making good plays. Shinovsky rolling out to Yarbrough. Oh, oh that <laughs> spin. <laughs> He spun him into the next century. He okay. spun him out of, right, I mean, on. he spun him into space. Yeah, that was pretty wild. I mean, Yarbrough's got a lot of athleticism. One of our faster offensive players. Uh, he just gave he gave that defensive that defensive player a little Leonard Fournette yeah. on Mike Mitchell. Come at me, bro. That's what he <laughs> did. You see that? Did you guys see that? If you didn't, go back and check, take a look at it. It was pretty crazy. So here's a pass complete to Dante Labelle. Ooh, it might have been picked off. Pretty close. Pretty, Pretty close. close. But Shinovsky, maybe he's setting himself up for field goals. That could be it. Game's already in hand, but yeah. He just wants that credit. Be like, hey, I'm a kicker too, everybody. I'd be settling for touchdowns, in my personal opinion, at quarterback. But okay, all right, cool. I mean. All right, Sanders running up the middle. Oh, oh, we just tagged him there. Could have gone for a lot more. But he goes down. It's a 20-yard gain. Still pretty comfortable. I mean, I, I think we got this game in control, but you got to show the defense a little bit. Oh. First completion of the game to Mark Williams. First completion? Yes, Air Force was 0 for 5 up to that point. Throwing, and we're going to stuff him here. That's Brenton Ward, one of our freshmen, one of the baby dogs. I like him. I like Brenton Ward out there at linebacker. I think he's going to be a good one, too. LaBelle testing out that knee. Wow, that's pretty dangerous, man. He's he going to be feeling pretty frisky he to went, be doing that. I know. He went airborne. That tells me that he feels good. He trusts himself. I like to see that. All right, so we're going to keep running this clock down. We got LaBelle in there making some nice little cuts. Takes a big shot to the chest. I'm taking him out right now. And that's really? actually what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to let Corey Hargrove get in there. And he's got some shiftiness to him. He's got good hips, Oh yeah, as Mike Mayak would say. So pretty good moves there by Hargrove to pick up that first down. And we got Shinovsky roll into the right. Ooh. He's going to throw into the end zone. What a Har- play. What a play. You know, notice how the CPU pushed him out of the end zone. Look at Shinovsky, a little, little back, little backtrack motion. He's pumped that. up. <laughs> I love but that. You notice they, they pushed Yarbrough out of the end zone. I think the CPU was dying to give us a down at the one situation. But Yarbrough fights through it, gets the touchdown. Air Force with a little nice completion here. Might be the last series we see the Falcons, but look at that tackle by Ward in space. I love this guy. I'm going to feature him quite a bit. As soon as I say that, he misses. Yeah, he misses the tackle right there. But second and six, going to pick up a first down. This is pretty much the start of the fourth quarter now. 5.32 left to go, and Barber's going to get the touchdown. The goal here was let's see if we can keep Air Force out of the end zone, and we failed. So Willis checks in. Hands the ball off to John Tavius Nichols. You remember him? Going to the sidelines will not be denied by the one-yard line monster. But here's Cameron Willis. Getting a lot of love in the comments. People thinking I railroaded him. I love Cameron Willis. I love him. He just, I mean, hey. Going to get him a little. Got to roll with the hot hand. Yeah. Going to give him a little bit of work here. A little bit of Jalen Hurts action. You know, we'll sprinkle him in. Just make him part of the team. But you see him there congratulating the team. 
He's happy. Shinovsky's happy. The Prairie Dogs are happy. And we pick up an easy W over Air Force. So, your boys are 2-0 and so far. Let's see how McAllen is going to do against another military institute. And they're taking on Army here, which is actually pretty good in real life. Scoring yeah. 70 points against another Texas team, Houston, in their bowl game. So let's just see how McAllen's going to do against this yeah. type of Army. Well, they got, they got Kelvin Hopkins and, you know, Army... Just like the other two schools we saw, going to be heavily focused on the option run game. And McAllen got to stay in their lane, got to make tackles in space. That's how they're going to have to defend Army. And third and seven, the throwing game, passing game is going to be where you pick Army off, hopefully. Hopefully gotta they get some good defensive back play and linebacker play for this game here. But Ugh. new quarterback, Harkless Blair. Yeah, first time we've seen him. I think I featured him in the intro video, so that which was a long time ago. But I said, look out for this guy. I like this guy. We're going to see how he does in this offense. Listed as a scrambling type of quarterback, more so than a passer. And this is a passing kind of offense. So we'll see how he how he fits in. I think he'll I think he'll do pretty good. But he's got some wheels. He's trying to run on the edge, but that's going to go down as a sack by Corderell Davis. So it's going to set up third and 13. He's basically a poor man's Jerkeen and Timmons, except he can throw a little bit. You guys can see here a slant route up the middle to... That's not Nelson Ledbetter. That Bryce is Maddox. Bryce Maddox. The, the number backup. three tight end. Yes. Gets the touchdown. So Harkless Blair makes a nice strike. Good start to his Matador career. Oh, what a play. And the defensive front blows that up. Still got Rhett Tomlinson. Got Lockheed, Galarza. So they got some... Got some faces, Pickens, Garrison, you know, they're all back. So this should be a good defensive front seven. I think they're going to hold Army in check. And look oh! at this, the ball's sitting there oh, right at midfield. Perfect. It would have been perfect to jump on that and take it back to the house, get up that 14 nothing. <laughs> yep, so Army killing some time here. It's almost the end of the first. You know, they're trying oh, to run this clock they out. Did, they almost did it again. Man. Almost did it again. So McAllen just missed opportunities here. And look at this. The ball was actually, so it's an incomplete pass, but it looked like the ball, the trajectory of his arm, like the ball came out way too high and he just lobbed it. That could have been picked off. But we see Blair is going to take another sack by McClinton and it's going to be third and 16. So that's something that I'm noticing already with Harkless Blair is that he's holding on to the football a little bit too long. The offense under Rodriguez and Carmichael was predicated on the deep shots and the strikes. He's more that quarterback that's going to have to do the dink and dunk and let the receivers make the plays. Yeah, you know, it's, it doesn't have a lot of experience in the offense. It's going to take him a minute to process things down the field, I think. That might be why he is holding out of the ball. Maybe he's just a more conservative type of passer. That kind of stuff right there. That's a good throw, though, going on to the outside of Malloy Jr. So we got third and two here, and Blair runs with it. That's what he likes to do. Picks up eight. He's going to be tough to defend. If he, if he figures out this passing thing, you can't you can't let him loose. But a little, little option sprinkled in there down at the... Oh, unreal. Down at the one, so third... Should have been in. Oh, what? No! He just run! Hit run, man! <laughs> he hit him in the face! He hit him in the face! Was he, he Watch must, the replay. Maybe he was a little dazed. He was like... Boosh! Oh, oh what? Oh. Look at all that wide open spaces. Unreal. So, oh. McAllen... Gonna have to settle for a field goal after that missed opportunity. <laughs> it's gonna be ten nothing. That's about right the now. nicest thing you could say. You could call that as a missed opportunity. Well, it's a very. Let's, I can think of other things to call that play. Uh, yeah, but we're <laughs> gonna have a new word. It's gonna be McCallend. Oh yeah. They they McCallend it. Clemsoning was over like six years ago. So, yeah, we need a McCallen. Yep. Verb. I agree. All right, Hopkins running though up the middle, and the clock runs out. Army had a timeout in their pocket, so they McAllen it. They McAllen it. Their halftime, their their two minute drill was McAllen. Yeah. There's timeout, you got two timeouts to burn. Call that timeout, either give yourself a shot at the end zone or you settle for a field goal. And you yeah. get it to a one score game. Just stupid. Just yeah. stupid play calling. It just it drives me nuts. You know what though? I gotta give credit to Army's defense because you saw him there make a great play. Got Blair down again. Here's Lockheed gets a tackle for loss. So McAllen is really blowing this option game up and living in Army's backfield. But they do hit a screen out here going downfield. That's Franklin for 21. 
army with a little reverse option. And he's got so he's got a lane too. So it's only a ten point game. Feels like McAllen's totally in control, but and that's that's the thing about close games and low scoring games. It's literally going to take one play, one big boom type of play. And if there's ever a team that can do it, it's Army because they can easily get into space like this, set up yes. their blockers up front, and score a touchdown. And it could be 10 to 10 just like that late right. in the fourth. And they picked up the field goal on that last drive. So, yeah, they are one touchdown, one touchdown away from tying this game. McAllen is, uh, what, like a 97? Yes. I don't even remember. But good play here. Good play here. Really good stop. That's A.O. Garrison, one of their best defensive players. Third and six in McAllen with Blair throwing a screen pass. And luckily, luckily, Marlon Malloy gets that first down. 2.18 left to go. They're going to elect to go to another screen pass. And Malloy is going to get about six. Now, so. Army burning timeouts with 2.15. You could argue this is a mccallan situation right here. Blair runs, gets the first down. Another timeout for Army. So... Army now out of timeouts on second down. Blair's just going to run into traffic. It's going to go down as another sack. I mean, at this rate, if they're, they're going to count those as sacks, McAllen might have one of the lowest protection rates in the country. Yes, but on third and 10, Ledbetter's going to get a two-yard reception, and they're going to settle for a field goal here. Is it going to be good? That's a very important kick. It is 13-3 to three now with 38 seconds left. That was huge because if he missed that, it gives it gives Army really good field position and only down a touchdown. Yeah, so only seven seconds on the clock. Obviously, Army not going to win this game. Let's see if they can complete a pass, though. And they do oh my God. down the field to Billy Rogers. One second left, guys. They're going to have to scramble up to the line and get a playoff. That's the question is when are the referees going to let this thing go? And they're not going to be able to get the playoff. Army fans are distraught. They're a little bit upset, but they're not going to win the game anyway, guys. It just wouldn't matter. Even if they did get the playoff and get that touchdown, doesn't matter. McAllen gets the W, guys. It's time to check out the box scores for our three games that we just got done showing you. Ardmore, 367 total offense, but 313 yards to Navy. The two big plays really cost us, I think from ha having an otherwise really good game on defense. We probably should have only held Navy to about maybe 270, 270 in total offense. So like that, but look at the passing yards. They're both at 221. So kind of weird there, but John Hicks, 171 is his quarterback rating, 16 of 26, three scores, 61%. Yeah, and I feel got... like that game was a little bit easier than it looked. Yeah, yeah. It's just the two plays. It's just yeah. the two plays that kind of cost us. It was just play calling, bad play calling. But that is a little bit, you know, those are big plays. Mm -hmm. It's like saying, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the play? Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a saying. Wow. Well, the 150 years ago, I, it's in the it's in the dictionary. I. I gotcha. <laughs> I just. Uh, okay. I don't know okay. what to say about it. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> there you go. I'm just so, saying you, you can't just arbitrarily be like, well, if it weren't for that play, you know, it's, it's well, part big, of the game. Big plays don't happen that often. If you can tighten some things up, then yeah, I'm being an optimist here. So Xavier Wiggins is probably the guy that I'm looking at here. Six rushes for 27 with a four and a half average and a touchdown. I want to get him more involved. I think that he's going to be a pretty good player. Plus, we got Brent Guerrero, who ended up catching a touchdown for five yards from John Hicks. This is a pretty good offensive group here this season. I think Tremaine Young is going to get these guys playing together. It's going to be a nice year on offense. I agree. I agree. All right, so Nebraska State getting that big W over Air Force. I liked what we did all game. Pretty thorough. 400 to 216. Pretty thorough. That was a that was a thorough beatdown. Yeah, that's what I mean. Nice, steady, solid domination. That's what I like. <laughs> One fourth down conversion. Seven trips to the red zone. That was pretty good. So Willis came in, got those two completions. Shinovsky did the majority of the 84%. damage. Four percent. LaBelle picking up 82. Hargrove going for 18 and a touchdown. So Nichols Hargrove. And Watson score, LaBelle does not. So, then, yeah, Joseph Yarbrough, Vivaldi pitched in with 62. So, pretty good win for the Dogs. I think that sets us up pretty well heading into the next week.
Now, this was one of the more interesting games. Uh, I mean, Army, they can say, well, if it wasn't for that pass, was it? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. If we weren't worse than the other team, maybe we would have won. <laughs> kind of like that. Unreal. I'm getting just reamed over here. Yeah. You know what's funny? Look at these two logos and look how similar they are. They both got the cape thing yeah, going on. Pretty yeah. close. Uh-huh. Interesting. The, bu- the so, big A right in the middle? Yeah. yeah. So, Coronado... It's almost was, like you did that on purpose. I didn't. Oh. Coronado <laughs> gets the field goal. So, Coronado is the hero for McAllen. Oh, I know, what did you think about Blair in this game? What, what's your opinion? Uh, he sucked. He sucked? He sucked. That was okay. He sucked for the weapons that he has. For sacks. Let's just put, let's just put it that way. He sucked for the weapons that he has. He's well, got look. Carson Jackson... Okay. Was he even utilized in this game? Yeah, I didn't really see him get involved here. Six catches for 52. He's better now than look, that. He's the best receiver in football. Yeah, here's the problem. If we ripped on Rodriguez for underachieving, this game was in that vein for Harkless Blair. I mean, he does need to be better, make better decisions, be quicker with the football. This uh, is not going to cut it once you get to Big Ten. Big um, play, rather. Something needs to be said, though. This is We need to get grounded in the fact that this is Army. Right, right. Okay. I understand right. that they were running the clock. They were running the football a lot. Scrappy. But it's Army. If right. you've got a guy like Carson Jackson, you are playing him on Daily Fantasy. Okay? Sure. That's the type of game that he needed to have. And when your quarterback is going to go 25 of 33, which is a good number, 75%, Not 245 yards, is though. okay. but Nine yards per completion. You need to do better. You're right. You need to do better. All right, so that will cut it for the early games. So yes. on tap tonight, take it away, sir. On tap tonight, we have Little Rock against Clemson, ACU against Washington as the big game, and then the last game, Arizona State at Shreveport. Yes, so at the Shreve, so believe in the Shreve, hashtag believe in the Shreve. If you believe in the Shreve, stop by tonight. Stop by tonight. So 8 o'clock, make sure you guys are here if you want to check that out when the video actually first drops. And I will be updating you guys on your picks on Sunday. So that conference or that pick standings will be up on goldglovergaming.com. Yes, at the very bottom, at the very bottom. So go to the pick center, click on that big, it's a big picture of all the Big 12 teams. It says conference, or I keep saying conference standing. But uh, pick them standings and it will be updated as far as week number one is concluded so then we'll go right into week number two on wednesday so we're gonna give you faster this year yep we're gonna give it faster we're gonna pump these things out and we'll actually have a little bit more explaining to do in the eight o'clock uh video so make sure you guys come by and check that thing out and we'll see you then so leave a like if you like this thing and that's all i got so we'll see you guys eight o'clock we'll see you then peace